Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here, introducing to you the very basic definition of what a limit is. So if the y value for a function gets closer and closer to some value, as the x value gets closer and closer to some value of its own from both sides of that point, then we offer this statement here. This LIM stands for limit, and we read this as the limit as x approaches a value of a, so as x approaches a of our function f of x, equals the limit L. So I have my parabola here graphed and it goes through the point 1 comma 3 you can see. Now you'll notice that as I approach this point from the left side on the graph, I'm traveling the graph on the left side approaching this point, I am approaching an x value of 1 and I approach a y value of 3. The same thing happens if I approach from the right side of the point on the graph. If I get closer and closer to this point from the right side, I approach an x value of 1 from the other direction, but I'm still approaching a y value of 3. So clearly you can see as I get closer and closer to an x value of 1 on the graph, I get closer and closer to a y value of 3 on the graph. So here we would say the limit as x approaches 1 of our function, the limit is 3. So remember, the limit is actually the y value. So let's take a look at some various graphs of functions that do different things around the value x equals 0. My first one here, you can see it's nice and smooth and curvy. It just goes right through 0. It's just one of those points on the graph. Nothing strange happening there. On the right side here, you can see a little bit stranger thing. We're smooth and curvy, and we curve into x equals 0 here, but now we actually have a little missing hole in the function, right? At that specific point x equals 0, we're actually missing a defined point at that x value. If we look over here, we have a similar thing going on. It's not defined at x equals 0 here or here. We have two separate pieces of the function, and so that's an additional strange thing that's happening near x equals 0. For this one over here on the right, you can see as we get closer and closer from the left to x equals 0, it looks like our graph goes down without bounds. So it's just going to keep continuing downward. And from the right side of x equals 0, we are continuing up without bound. We're increasing forever. Uh, as we approach from the right side. So we have different things going on here. Let's go back and take a look at each of these and decide if they have a limit as x approaches 0. So if we look at this first smooth curvy graph that just travels through 0 with nothing strange going on around x equals 0, remember the idea for the limit is do I approach a specific y value as I get closer and closer to this value 0 from the left side and the right side. So if you think about if I approach x equals 0 from the left side, I get closer and closer to the origin. So I'm approaching a y value of 0. The same thing happens from the right side. As I curve in and get closer and closer to x equals 0, I'm approaching the origin from that side as well. And so that's a y value of 0 from both directions that we're approaching. So we would say the limit as x approaches 0 of this function exists, and that limit, in other words, the y value we get closer and closer to is a y value of 0 at the origin. So our limit as x approaches 0 of our function here, f of x, is 0. Looking at this next one here, smooth curvy behavior until we get to this point. So the question for a limit is, do we get closer and closer to a specific y value as we approach from both sides? So as I approach from the left side, I am approaching the hole. Now, the limit does not say, is it defined at 0? It says, do we approach a specific y value as we approach 0? So as I get closer and closer to x equals 0, then you can tell here's my marker 2 here, and here's the axis. So you can tell halfway in between, this would be a y value of 1. So as I approach from the left side, I'm approaching the hole, which is at a y value of 1. If I approach from the right side, a similar thing happens. I approach a y value of 1. Again, it's not defined when we get to x equals 0, but we approach the same y value of 1 from both sides. So we would say, yes, the limit as x approaches 0 of this function exists, and in fact, that limit is 1. As x gets closer and closer to 0 from both sides, y gets closer and closer to 1. So for our third example, we have two horizontal pieces of a function, both kind of leading to an open hole, an undefined point at x equals 0. But for the limit, we just want to know, do we approach the same y value from the left side and the right side as we get closer and closer to this x value? So from the left side here, 
as I get closer and closer to zero, I approach this hole. And that hole is at a y value of negative one. But if I approach x equals zero from the right side, up here, if I approach from the right, I'm getting closer and closer to the y value, the hole here, which is positive one. So since I am approaching a different y value from the left and from the right, then we will say that this limit does not exist. And if the limit does not exist, we don't then go state what the y values were. We just simply state that the limit does not exist as x approaches zero. For our last example here, it's sort of a similar thing to what we had before. Um, we have different behaviors on each side. From the left side of zero, as I approach from the left, I will be going further and further negative without bound. So we'll be going off toward an infinite negative value, if you can think of it that way, as we approach from the left. So we just keep getting more and more negative. And from the right, as I approach x equals zero, I would keep increasing without bound. I would keep getting larger and larger positive values. So we're tending toward an infinitely large positive value as we get closer and closer to the axis from the right side. So since this side decreases without bound and this side increases without bound, certainly we're not going to the same y value from both directions, right? So our limit as x approaches zero of f of x from both sides not being the same value, then this limit does not exist as well. Okay, hopefully this gives you a nice way of just interpreting limits and if they exist or if they don't and how to find them. We'll be doing some more mathematical methods of how to find limits when they exist in our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.